Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2022 Vibe 34BH travel trailer. This is a triple slide out bunkhouse travel trailer. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you through the inside and outside of the RV, and then we're going to close it all up and show you what it looks like closed. We'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now up inside the new 2022 Vibe 34BH travel trailer here. Again, this is a triple slide bunkhouse trailer. You've seen that uh, floor plan a few seconds ago there. So we're gonna start here in the kitchen living room area and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, we have an electric fireplace currently using the 30 inch Furion electric fireplace, which is basically a pretty cool, fancy space heater. Um, so it just kind of really helps knock the chill off in the RV without firing up the gas furnace that comes standard. Next to that, you have the electric box with your breakers and fuses. You have some storage above the fireplace area there. And then the unit has a 50 inch Conexus flat screen TV here with the built-in FM radio tuner in it. Uh, it. has Bluetooth connectivity, so you could play music from your phone if you wanted to. You have two opposing sofas here. Those are freestanding sofas, so you technically could remove them if you wanted to and throw your recliner or two in here if you wanted, however you wanted to set up your RV here. Um, that would have to be done aftermarket. It's not something the factory would do for us. But you have two opposing sleeper sofas here. These are tri-fold sofas that will flip out, make into beds, so you could sleep four people here in just this area alone. And you have a little bit of room to scoot through there if you needed to. Looking up top here, you can see obviously LED lights throughout the ceiling area here. But in the center here, we have our Coleman ducted AC. Unit comes standard with one AC unit. This one was ordered with the optional second AC you'll see when we get back into the rear bedroom area here. Looking back toward the back section here, you have your kitchen area. So we have a booth dinette here and there's little doors that open up on the ends of the booth and little plastic tubs for storage purposes. Or if you want, you can just pitch the tubs out and slide things in there indep independently there. Uh, again, this area will make into a bed, so you could sleep one or two people on the dinette when it's in bed mode. So really truthfully, just in the living room slash kitchen area here, you could sleep four to six people pretty comfortably back here if you needed to. On the side of the islands down here, you have a couple heat vents. So they ran their heat vents through the cabinetry section instead of through the floor. You do have an electric outlet on the end of the island here also. Three full extending ball bearing drawer guided drawers here. You have your traditional microwave here. That is a Furion microwave. Just over here, we have our three burner stove top with the glass flip up lid. Up above, you have the Furion hood range light and fan kind of built in there. And again, that oven slash stove top is also Furion. So you have the glass front oven down below and has the light up knobs. And there's a drawer down below that as well. Over to the right of there, we have our Furion 10.7 cubic foot 12 volt refrigerator. So you kind of get the hint here. They're really into all the Furion stuff. So you got Furion microwave, oven, refrigerator, fireplace. Um, you know, they're really kind of going into the Furion equipment. It's even pre-wired for a rear Furion observation camera you'll see when we get outside. Down below here in the island, you have some more storage. Up top here, you have a undermount stainless sink. You have the little strainer cover as well. High rise spring sprayer faucet. And looking on up, there is also a skylight up above here to let in some natural light. 
Now over here, you do have a pretty good sized pantry area. There's a light in here and down below that bottom section is a removable flat panel. So you could get back in behind there for maintenance of some of your stuff. On the wall, there is your digital thermostat for your main air conditioner and your gas furnace. Down below here, you can see there is the propane leak detector, a little trash can that comes with the unit, and electric outlet here on the side. Going on back into the rear of the coach here, uh, we'll pop up a couple pictures while we're in here as well. But below this up, upper bunk here, you do have some storage. You have a flip out ladder area there, but you can cram quite a bit of kids clothing and stuff in there. Looking on up, we have our optional second air conditioner. This is basically a drop in AC unit with the controls and thermostat right on the AC unit itself. Window here is an emergency exit and will open if you want it to. Does have a screen built in. There's TV hookups back there on the wall, so you could mount you a TV to the rear wall here if you wanted, and that way the kids could see it from all the sleeping areas. Back window does also open. Mostly linoleum floor back here, but this does have a flush floor slide, um, so there is a little bit of carpet in the slide out and also just in front of the slide to make things slide a little easier. Here you can kind of see the unit has a flip out bed. This is basically two cushions down below and that will allow again, two people to sleep down here if you wanted to. And then obviously you have the bunk above, that bunk above flipped up out of the way. So you could use the lower portion in couch mode or you can make it into bed mode. Another window back there as well, that again is an emergency exit window and will open, has a screen and stuff in it. But quite a bit of room back here to sleep three or four kids. Plus again, you had all the people in the living room area that could sleep in there as well. And we're gonna go up and check out the bathroom area here and into the main bedroom area here. So in the hallway, right in front of the entry door, you do have your control panel here. So your awning in and out button, slide out button, 12 volt tank heater button, gas button for the water heater, electric buttons outside, water pump, some light switches, your fresh water, black water, gray water monitor, along with your battery and stuff here. A couple slide buttons here, and you also have uh, some light switches as well. So all three slides are operating from this area. So you don't have to worry about the kids trying to operate theirs while you're, uh, while they're back there playing around. In here, you have your bathroom area here, and you have a foot flush toilet here. There is a little bit of storage underneath of the sink area there and you have a little bit of storage to the left of the mirror there as well. Step in shower here. This does have the slide across little vinyl door. And there is a skylight above the shower to give you an extra couple inches of height and also again, let in more natural light. And then you have the exhaust fan up here as well. The bedroom door is one of those little pivot hinge doors. So it's a little bit different style on how it actually opens. Now, while we're looking down here toward the bottom, you can see there is a little storage area. You got these little black cubbies under there and even a little area where you could like kick your shoes and stuff underneath of the bed. Now this bed will also raise up and there's kind of a couple little cubby hole back in behind there where you could drop some storage stuff in there as well. You have some overhead cabinet space above your bed. 
back in behind the closet on the left so you can see the closet there popping up in the picture you got a little hanging closet area there but then there's also a little storage space back in behind there, a little shelf area there's even a little bit of space below that shelf area usb charger ports and electric outlets on both sides window on each side of the bed and both of the windows do open now here at the foot of the bed area on the wall, you have a light switch down here, but you also have up above an electric outlet and a cable outlet. So you could again mount you a TV here if you wanted to. On the right there is another little closet. And again, this is mostly a hanging closet, but it also comes with this little black bag uh, that drops down and kind of acts as like a little shelf space. So you could store some you know, clothes in there or shoes or whatever you want to do in there. Now, plenty of room to maneuver around the bedroom area here. Uh, so when you get up in the morning to get dressed and stuff, it's pretty roomy to do so. You don't have to worry about kicking people out of the bedroom or out of the camper. Right here, you do have a heat vent blowing out, an electric outlet, and also you have your solar charge controller. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. They are one of the largest internet discount dealers in the country. Will definitely save you guys a lot of money on a new RV if you're interested. So I wanna go outside. I wanna show you around the outside of the RV, and then we're gonna come back in here, and I wanna close it up and show you what it looks like with the slides all closed, get you an idea on how that works. So we'll be right back on the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of the brand new 2022 Vibe 34BH travel trailer here. We're going to start here on the door side of the RV and kind of spin our way around. So first things up, you have a white fiberglass exterior. This is an aluminum studded laminated sidewall. It has a lower black metal skirting. There is a large pass through storage compartment here across the front section of the RV. And you can kind of see some of the uh, aluminum tube framing there for the uh, bed structure and stuff there. Down below, you do have the front power jacks. So you have electric jacks here. Also the freshwater tank drain right next to that jack as well. It's just a switch on the side to control this front jack. You have power awning with an LED light strip built in has the adjustable arms for tilting for water runoff purposes. Um, it does have the manual override in the front head in case of an electronic failure. Hopefully you never need it, but it does have it in case it does happen. You have traditional RV entry door and screen door here. It does have the window in the door. Um, it does have the little pull strap piece on the screen door to help close the screen door when you do have it detached from the main door. That's kind of a nice little bonus feature. Large folding entry handle here to help you get in and out of the RV. Next to that is also your model number. So when you're out shopping at a dealer's location and you see a camper you like, look next to that entry door there and you'll usually find that model number so you can let your salesperson know what you're looking at. Up front here you have the more ride step above step here, which has the feet that come down, touch the ground. They are adjustable, so you can kind of adjust it to your campsite a little bit. But these steps are stronger. They're rated for 500 pounds, where a traditional hover step is only rated for 300 pounds. So you do get the added strength plus stability as when you run in and out of the RV, it doesn't shake the coach as bad. This unit being a bunkhouse, they're expecting you to have kids and stuff running in and out. So that's definitely a nice thing to have. The stove exhaust comes out the side of the slide right here, and there's a little flapper in there, so you have to flip that open in order for the smoke to come out when you're using it. You have dual axles, four-wheel drum brakes. They use the wide stance axle system, so the wheels are spread a little bit further apart than normal, and that allows for more stability when traveling down the highway. Back here you have a nice size 
outside kitchen area. There is a gas line hookup down below here, just in front of the rear electric stabilizer jacks. So you could plug in a portable grill if you wanted to. It does not come with that grill, but you can get one aftermarket. You have two electric mini fridges here. You also have your TV here on the outside. It is a 32 inch TV. Um, that TV also has an FM radio built into it, so you could kind of listen to some music outside if you want. A little light up there with a switch on the wall, and there's a cold water spray port below that right refrigerator there. It comes with a hose as well, uh, but you could use some cold water out here. You got gas out here, you know, so you can kind of do some different things out here as far as cooking and entertaining. Just to the right is the furnace exhaust just below that awning arm, but there's also another cable outlet and another electric outlet there as well. So even though you have a TV in your outdoor kitchen area here, you also have more TV hookups there for whatever reason they put two TV hookups, but you know, maybe you wanna watch a couple different games on a nice weekend. Now there is an outdoor speaker, um, kind of see it up there a little bit in between the slide and that arm. Um, so you do have a speaker up there, it does have a little blue light on it as well. On around to the back of the RV here, you have your traditional four inch square tube bumper. So a lot of people store their dump hose in there. Uh, some people put a small bike rack on there. These bumpers are rated for a few hundred pounds, not anything real super heavy. They put the uh, spare tire with the mountain cover on it as well right here. The unit has cable and satellite inlets below that right tail light right there. So you can hook up to a campgrounds cable if you need to, or satellite or something if they have it. Or get you a portable satellite as well. Up top below the center running light there, it is pre-wired for a Furion observation or backup camera. Now, that right there is basically powered to where you could put your camera up there and it will shoot a wireless signal to a monitor that you would plug into your truck. Furion makes a little monitor. Uh, talk with your sales guy about it. He'll be glad to go over that stuff with you. But it's pretty cool. You can get the little observation camera again to help you kind of see behind you when you're traveling down the road or backing into that tight camp spot. The slide outs come pre-prepped for the Soul Air slide toppers. There's little brackets on the corners of the slides there where they can attach and you could slide the awning material and stuff into the track of the gutter system up there. So if that does interest you, again, talk with your sales guy about that. But it is pre-set up for Solaire slide toppers. That will basically be an awning that rolls in and out with the slide over top of your room to kind of shade it, keep leaves, twigs, debris, you know, helps repel a lot of water. Um, so something to consider if that interests you. Again, talk with the sales guy about something like that. Squeeze in between here, um, you can see that striker there has a little porch out, so it's kind of making it tight for us here to get through. But just down below, in between your two slides here, you have one of your gray dumps. So this is the galley dump for the kitchen area here. Going on up in front of the slide here, where we got a little more room. Just down below right here, you have your gray and black dump area. So you do have two separate dumps on this unit. The one in the back for the kitchen, the one up front for the shower and sink area. Just above here, we do have a, a, a detachable power cord here. Now this one was ordered with the 50 amp electric service. You've seen when we were inside, this had two ACs in there. So you need 50 amp for two ACs. And that cord's probably about 25 or 30 feet long, roughly. Just to the left of that power cord attachment there, you have an outside utility shower, hot and cold water. Just to the left of that, you have your city water inlet and your black tank flush. Just over to the left, that black square there, we have our hot water heater. It's a six gallon gas and electric water heater. You can see popping up in that picture there, that inch and a 16th drain plug in the lower middle, electric switch in the lower left corner there, and in your pressure relief valve in the top middle. Relieve the pressure before you drain it, very important to remember to do. 
Right here, the little round thing, we have our black gravity freshwater tank fill. So you stick your hose in, it fills up the tank. Um, you wanna watch it on your monitor panel in there just so you don't overfill it. And then remember the drain for it was in front of the electric jack on the other side. Now just in front of that is some stickers, very important stickers here that we're gonna pop up. And these first sticker here is gonna be your main production sticker. So this has VIN number, axle sizes, uh, but most importantly, it has your gross vehicle weight. It's the most you can load the RV up to, you know, hitch weight, axle weight, everything combined, do not exceed that number. Next sticker is going to be your um, unloaded vehicle weight sticker, which basically has the length of the RV on it and also what the weight was when it rolled off the factory assembly line. So very important, again, you take that gross minus this dry weight here and that will give you your cargo carrying capacity. That's the next sticker popping up there. And it's always off a few pounds because sometimes they include the propane in a tank or they include a battery on the front. Every manufacturer is a little bit different, but basically you take your gross minus your unloaded, giving you your cargo carrying capacity. Do not exceed that number. Next is going to be your tire sticker. And that is basically telling you your proper tire pressure, not just the tire size on there, but also maintaining your pressure. Uh, very important, the wheels can only hold so much weight at a certain pressure. If you let that pressure drop too low, they can't hold the weight properly and your tire will blow out a lot easier. So be very careful with that. Now you can see in this picture here popping up the solar panel that's on the roof there. You know, this one again was ordered with two ACs, TV antenna, plumbing stack vents, roof vents, all that type of stuff up there, guys. Real important to make sure you get up there from time to time, check those seams and seals, make sure it stays nice and maintained. You do not wanna let that stuff crack open and let water in. So remember, get up there seasonally, check it out. You may not have to do anything to it, but you do want to inspect it a lot just to be safe. Do that on any RV, whether it's a trailer, fifth wheel, you know, million dollar motorhome. You want to get up there and really, really protect your investment and check it out. Up front here, we have a really nice three quarter fiberglass front cap that is sloped back nicely to help out with some wind aerodynamics. Um, down below here, you have a LED light strip built into the cap. The lower portion is a black diamond plate kind of metal. You have two 20 pound propane tanks here with the hard bottle cover, auto changeover regulator, power front jack with the built-in light manual override, traditional safety chains, breakaway cable, seven-way Bargman plug. Again, the unit has four-wheel electric brakes. You do have to make sure you get an electric brake controller put in your vehicle so that you can control those brakes. Back in behind here, we have room for one or two batteries, and you also have your battery disconnect back there, the little red switch. Um, the unit comes with zero batteries from the RV maker. It comes with one deep cycle battery from Couches RV Nation when you purchase from them. If you're not buying from Couches RV Nation, uh, make sure your dealer does get you a battery included. And again, there's room for two depending on what type of battery they are. All right, guys, we are going to head back inside. I wanna show you what this thing looks like closed. So we'll be right back on the inside. All right, guys, we are now back inside the new 2022 Vibe 34BH trailer here. Um, we're gonna start closing up the slides here and then I wanna also show you what the bedroom looks like closed up as well in the back. So we're gonna close the big slide first and then we'll close up the back slide and then we'll close up the kitchen slide next. So we're coming back in right here at the main entry door where your controls are for the three slides. This one here on your main monitor panel control does the big slide here. So first thing, make sure your floor is nice and clean before you run this thing in. You don't wanna get any pebbles or twigs or anything like that stuck in between the floor and the slide floor and damage anything. So you're gonna hit the button, bring this in. Again, this is a 12 volt slide motor and it basically just runs for the most part straight in and straight out. If you need to let off the button to go check and make sure you're not about to run the slide into a 
you know, uh, electric pole or water pole or tree or anything like that, you know, feel free to do so. You can let off the button if you need to. So when the slide comes in, you can see it pretty much butts right up against this island right here. So with this slide closed, you are not getting into that bunk room area at all. It kind of blocks your TV view, blocks your electric fireplace and stuff like that down there. So now we're going to run this one back out and then we're going to close up the back slide here. Now when you are running the slide out, you definitely want to make sure that these cabinet doors didn't accidentally pop open or that uh, the uh, electric box door that folds down didn't accidentally pop open because your slide will rip them right off. You can kind of see, again, it's going straight back out. Pretty simple to do. Now I'm going to go back and set down the camera here so we can show you what the back bedroom looks like because we can't get to that with it all closed up here. All right, so I had to set the camera down here in the back bedroom. Hopefully this looks decent. But I wanted to show you what it looks like with this back bedroom slide closing. You do have to make sure the kids stuff is all out of the floor no rocks pebbles twigs anything like that no toys make sure that floor is clean make sure you close the bedroom door so that it don't damage the slide as well and you're going to push the button and this slide basically comes straight in straight out for the most part this again is a 12 volt electric slide motor uh, that's basically pulling this thing in and out using the cable system to do so. If you need to let off the button somewhere in between as you're going in and out to go check on things, you can again do so. Um, you can see here, slide is now all the way in. Hopefully that again looks decent enough in the picture here. Uh, and then basically we're just going to take it right on back out. So you push that button and it's going to go straight back out. Again, guys, don't forget to check out the people at Couches RV Nation, guys. Really do appreciate it. These guys uh, allow me to do these videos for you here at their store so that, uh, you know, kind of keep you guys up to date with all the information and things that are going on with the brands you might like. Slides all the way out there. See what that is. Okay, now we're going to close up this last slide here so you can kind of see what this part looks like here when it's closed. And we're basically hitting the button right here at the top. This is again coming straight in and straight out. Again, make sure that floor is clean. Make sure your cabinet doors and stuff are closed. So when this is closed, you can kind of squeeze through here a little bit and come back to your island area. As again, the other slide was butted up against the island here. So you could somewhat come back in here, maybe wash your hands if you were dirty at a rest area or something, you know, had to stop and do something. You can get into your master bedroom, you can get into your bathroom and use that as well, but you are not able to get to the back bunk room and when you're ready to go right on back out, you again are just pushing the button to take it back out. Pretty simple to do. Again, guys, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my RV videos. Really, really do appreciate it. If you don't mind, don't forget to like, share, subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more RV videos. Thanks again, guys. I really do appreciate you.